What's up, bullish friends? I hope you guys are doing great out there today. I hope all of my U.S. friends uh, all had a great holiday uh, last week and weekend. And I uh, hope everyone else out in the world is doing fantastic today. So today I want to talk about uh, is DeFi dead? Well, is crypto dead? Is what's going on? Because there is so much negativity in the news right now. And I mean, if you go on Twitter, you spend any amount of time on Twitter right now, and you spend any amount of time looking at topics on DeFi or crypto in general, it is negative, tons of negativity. And look, I get it. Like if you look at uh, the stuff going on with FTX, the stuff going on with BlockFi, and you couple all that in to a long-term bear market. I mean, we've been going through this bear market for a while. The sentiment is just at an all-time low. I haven't seen it this bad. And um, I wanted to put this video out today because it's a question that a lot of people have. And it's, you know, is DeFi dead? Well, and if, also, if you go over to any search engine I use, uh, I just go through Brave. But, like, if you were to type in is DeFi, you see is DeFi dead? It's one of the big thing how about you know crypto is crypto dead boom it's like the top search there so and if you go through any of these topics you can read articles you can see people are just they're negative on the sentiment in general so let's talk about i want to specifically talk about DeFi though is DeFi dead and we went through a period of time here where you know we've got projects like horde which everyone thought was unbreakable which is having so many so many issues right now, and I'll be doing an update on this project later on this week. But they're going through a transition; and they're way down. They could be dying. You know, it's it's down. You got yield nodes, the stuff that happened with yield nodes. I've covered that before. Just negative on that. Of course, strong block. If any of you were in strong block like I was, you got totally screwed. And you know that's down. Stable fund, you know, not dead, but transitioning. And even the king of, of DeFi, Drip. Drip, right now. You know, we're looking at Drip, the king here, at a buck fifty nine. So it's way down on price. And you go through their chart, and they've, they've been dipping, you know. This is the last 30 days. Just huge dip, boom. They're 99.1% down from their all-time high. So I get the FUD. I get the panic. And I'm going to give you my general assessment here, and I'm going to tell you what needs to happen. So I don't think DeFi is dead. I think DeFi actually has a bright future. I really do. But some stuff has to happen in the DeFi space to make this happen. Number one, projects going forward, they got to have utility. They've got to have utility in some way. Or if they don't have utility, they need to have outside money coming in. They cannot depend on Ponzanomics. And I know this is probably um, not a popular opinion, but if Drip were to come out right now, I would not even get into Drip. Now, obviously, I'm in Drip, and I got in a while back. But because when the Drip first launched, it had no utility, in today's market, I wouldn't even consider getting into that because I won't even consider getting into things like uh, some of these bots out there. Uh, I'm not going to name the names of the projects right now, but some of the bots out there that won't show you their trades, I, that stuff scares me out of that industry right now as well. And I know some of you guys are in stuff like that, but I'm specifically looking for things that either they have to have utility or money coming in and that is hard to find right now. Um, it's it's one of those things that I think you're going to start seeing even more projects start failing if they're solely relying on Ponzanomics. And it, like, let's say a project has 95% Ponzanomics is what is propping it up and only 5% revenue streams coming in. Well, I don't think that's going to be enough to sustain it. I think there has to be larger revenue sources coming in or it's just a matter of time before it collapses. So while there's a lot of good things in the DeFi space, I see a lot of the negative things in the DeFi space that have led people to where we're at now. And I've look, I've been in a lot of these projects that you put money in and two months later, three months later, they're gone. 
and I don't want to get into things like that myself. What I'm looking to get into, I want things that are going to pay out a passive income for an extended period of time. That being said, one of the opportunities that we have by seeing stuff like this go on in DeFi, this gives us an opportunity to invest in some things like, um, like so I did a video recently showing how I got into Alchemy, into ADS, which is a uh, cryptocurrency, and they're looking to change the ad space in the online industry uh, involving crypto. And they actually have some really great stuff, and you can earn uh, passive income on your investments with them right now. You can earn a, a yield back monthly. And while it's not crushing it, that's where I think the problem is in a lot of the DeFi where they come out and like a lot of the yields will come out and say you can earn three to 5% a day. And I think that has to change too. I think it needs to be more of a variable rate because I know like a lot of you guys out there, if someone were to tell me, well, look, we have this project and the rate that you will make every single day is variable based on the revenue we bring in. So if the project would bring in like, let's say you might make 0.25% a day instead of 5% a day back on your return. Um, I would be more inclined to that where it would fluctuate between like, let's say uh, 0.25% and 0.75% or 1%. You know, even 1% is a lot to return on in a day. And I would be more inclined to stick with something like that based on a variable return, based on the profit and the revenue that that particular protocol is making. So that's where I'm at with DeFi. I don't believe it's dead. I think that it's going to go through a transitional phase here. And ultimately, as long as we're in a bear market, the sentiment's going to be negative on DeFi regardless. And, um, you know... I see we need to get back to the bull market to have that positive um, sentiment coming back into the market, number one. But ultimately, a lot of these projects going forward have got to have utility and or a revenue source coming in outside of just new subscribers coming in. Anyway, that's my, my take on this, guys. I'm looking for more plays that uh, have those two things, utility and have revenue sources. Let me know what you guys think below. Am I totally wrong here? Are you guys? Uh, you maybe you have a different idea. Maybe you're maybe maybe you're okay with more of the Ponzonomic side of everything, and um, you're one of the people that say, you know, hey, it's fine. Ponzonomics are great. Just get in early. You know, I know there's a lot of that, but in that, I always see someone left holding the bag. But hey, that's like my opinion. I want to know your opinion, and uh, you guys, as always. Uh, I will see you in the next video and uh, stay safe out there. Stay warm and uh, love you guys. See you in the next video.